from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, much quieter than just three hours ago as uh, advertised the system in and out quickly, but it did leave its mark. River stage is on the rise of Vermilion at Surrey is going to be in uh, well has a flood warning and is going to crest at about 11 feet or so. So fortunately, most of the rivers and bayous are coming up, but uh, we're not expecting major flooding, although Dakon and uh, Bayou Nepique are going to come up pretty high, uh, but uh, we'll have a bit of a break, but we have our next weather maker. Come Sunday, let's go ahead and get into it and show you what the satellite imagery looked like uh, during the course of this evening. Some pretty cold cloud tops. The system was a little bit more organized in Texas. Fortunately, not quite as organized across Louisiana. We had that marine layer that was a saving factor, but we still had 50, 60 mile an hour gusts across the board, across the area, and a number of severe weather reports as well. And we'll get to that in just a bit. All part of a storm system that is now moving out of Monroe. Row. When I got to work today this afternoon, it was over southeast Texas. Look how quickly this thing has been moving and in its wake uh, ahead of it, strong southerly winds and its wake breezy west northwest winds as that continues to move off to the northeast. So where is the rain? Well, mostly across eastern Louisiana. That's where the heavy duty storms are and still severe weather warnings and uh, tornado watch in effect till 1 a.m. All watches and warnings drop for our area, so no concerns there. Certainly good news, but lingering showers continue across portions of uh, eastern portions of Acadiana. So here's how things evolved during the course of the day today. Squall line developing across southeast Texas and then moved across our region and moved pretty quickly at that. Fortunately, things quieted down. Here are the severe weather reports. We have a number of reports of severe of uh, wind damage across our area. We'll probably see more gathering tomorrow, but you can see it was a little bit more concentrated across southeast Texas. Also, uh, more tornadoes reported, but uh, we did have tornadic uh, cells into Calcasieu and portions of uh, Beauregard Parish. So we'll continue to get a survey from the National Weather Service either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. So uh, we'll get more information on that. Rainfall wise, like the last several systems, the system over delivering on rainfall. Remember yesterday the models were forecasting one to two, one to three. I said double those amounts. And again, that's what we had two to three inches of rain easily in some spots more, which caused some localized flooding, but not major flooding. A lingering shower two through midnight, then maybe a sprinkle toward daybreak tomorrow and tomorrow the clouds stick around, so we're not going to warm up. We're going to get upper 40s, lower 50s. That's about it. Those clouds eventually clear out tomorrow night and we should dip down into the mid to upper 30s for your Thursday morning. Overnight tonight, we'll see those readings dropping down into the 40s by daybreak tomorrow. We'll go mid 40s. That feels like temperature could push the wind chills in the upper 30s for a little bit and tomorrow a brisk day, barely reaching 50 for a high and the wind chills stay in the 40s. And then as we head into tomorrow night, you see those temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. So overnight tonight, showers ending, some brief clearing, wind chilly by morning, 45 the low for tonight as those winds eventually come around now the west northwest. Then for tomorrow, lingering clouds feeling and looking more like winter. I think the true view sky is a little optimistic. We're going to see plenty of clouds, some breaks in the clouds possible late afternoon, but overall I think it's going to be a mostly cloudy day and brisk northwest winds. So definitely jackets and sweaters and a winter chill is back. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, uh, while it gets milder this weekend, it's going to cloud up with more rain on the way for Sunday and then perhaps again next Tuesday. So an active weather pattern for sure. And then maybe some colder air as we get into February, but we'll have to wait and see on that. Okay, thanks, Rob. Well, before